Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob and this video we're going to do conspiracy theories and we're going to discuss the Phoenix Lights. Okay guys, welcome back. The Phoenix Lights, probably one of the most controversial and big, big, I'm talking huge UFO encounters or rather UFO sightings in probably modern time. So for those of you who've been living under a rock for the last 20 years, <laughs> 1997 uh, in Phoenix in Arizona, a large object in the sky was seen by thousands of people ranging from Phoenix all the way out to Tucson and you know it, this when I first heard this story um, it was actually not too long ago um, this was maybe like three or four years ago so well, I guess you could say I was living under a rock for a little while uh, <laughs> but the Phoenix lights was uh, it was a huge deal huge deal. Now, if you want to hear a good story on the Phoenix Lights, uh, I recommend getting a DVD called Out of the Blue. If you're into like UFO sightings and stories and mysteries like that, Out of the Blue is a very good DVD. Uh, it, it pretty much gives a documentary of some of the most famous UFO sightings in history and ones that hold the most water, ones that are not like complete crap. Like They actually make you ask some questions and think about it. And the Phoenix Lights is one of the primary stories in that DVD. I actually have it. It's a great DVD. And um, so anyway, what happened was over this object in the sky was reported to be huge. And, and every person who reported seeing it, which by the way, guys, is in the thousands, not a couple of hundred people, thousands, because this object in the sky pretty much traveled uh, over 300 mile, pretty much across the state of Arizona almost. It had a 300 mile, like, rate. I don't want to say radius, but uh, that's how far it traveled before it finally just kind of like, uh, I don't want to say disappeared, but nobody at that after that point saw any, any more of it. And every person who saw it reported it. Every person who saw it called 911 or called UFO centers or blah, 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 blah. blah. And, um, and it was so widely seen that there's no way anyone could deny it there's no way the government could hide this and i think the most interesting thing are the events that took place after the night that people saw this and it happened between 7 30 and 10 30 p.m so very very could very clearly see it at that time especially at that time uh, that part of the the united states and the next day there was so much bullshit, so many crap reasons that were given as to what happened and why people saw what they saw. I'll start off with probably the biggest crock of shit that people were told after reporting this event. Ready for this one? This is what was explained for why thousands upon thousands of people were reportedly seeing the same thing which was a very large triangular shaped object moving very slowly but steadily down a certain path and had emitted lights underneath about, I would say, let me look at the picture. So about two going here, and I'll put it up in a second. Uh, two lights on one side of the wing, two lights on the other, and then one in the center. And um, the, everybody reported the same thing seeing the same thing. They, they described the same thing. You know, it gave off a, lot, a low humming noise, uh, had the lights coming out of it. It was the biggest thing they'd ever seen. I mean, there were people reporting that this thing was just ginormous. So what was every, what was the explanation? Ready for this? Mass hallucination. Mass hallucination. 
everyone hallucinated and saw the exact same thing over a span of 300 miles. Thousands upon thousands of people saw the exact same thing, but it was a hallucination. Give me a fucking break. I mean, if you, I mean, come on, really? <laughs> Look, nobody's saying it's aliens, okay? I'm not even saying it's an alien. It could be some crazy government experiment with this huge shit. Maybe it was the, their version or their creation of the helicarrier. Who knows? But you can't tell people that you're hallucinating. They can't tell 100,000 people or however many people reported this that they're hallucinating. All the same thing. It's just ridiculous. So then uh, the governor of... Um, his name's Fife Semington. He was governor. I want to say... a. Phoenix. Yep. Okay. Just got the page right here in front of me. I want to make sure I get things straight. And um, the next day he had a press conference to talk about the event because obviously a lot of people were reporting it. And during his press conference, he's discussing it and this and that. And at one point he says that they caught the culprit of what occurred. And you want to know what walks out? A fucking guy dressed in an alien costume. You want to talk about smacking people in the face. A person coming out in the alien costume. And I, look, and this is just, and what makes it funny is, about four or five years later, that same governor admitted A, to seeing the same thing, and he believed it was otherworldly. Now, obviously, when he's in office, he can't say these things because either he, someone tell him to shut up, or someone... Or he was doing it for his own political agenda. He doesn't want to look like a wacko. But he still hurt, probably hurt himself in the in the polls by trying to make everyone look like asinine idiots by making fun of something that you just, at this point, you can't even dispute, you know? Uh, the military explained that uh, some A-10 warthogs were dropping flares. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't know if there's a flare out there that floats, you know? Um, but that was debunked actually last April, April of 2013. A woman who's been investigating the Phoenix Lights for the last 17 years finally got one. I guess she went on to court and won and got, uh, you know, there's that law, the right to, um, ah, God. One of you guys will say it in the comments. I know you will. But it's, it's a, I guess, a right to get information, right to information, something like that. Somebody will tell me in the comments. So thank you in advance for that. Um, and, and she got a military document stating that that night there were no military activities in the air occurring at all. So the Warthog story dropping flares was a crock of shit. So you got mass hallucination, which was a crock of shit. The Warthog dropping flares, which was a crock of shit. And then the mayor making fun of stuff, which just even made it worse because it just makes it, looks like he, it, makes it look like he was trying to cover it up. Uh, by making light of the situation, only to come back a couple of years later and admit that he saw it. And he even admitted, apparently, uh, Governor Semington, uh, excuse me, uh, Fife Semington, Governor Fife Semington, apparently was really into aircraft and flying. And he was very educated on a lot of the aircrafts around the world and things that have existed. And even he said after seeing it, he could not recollect any machine in the air that is, was as big or has ever been as big as what he saw. And he said, in quotes, I quote rather, it was otherworldly. So now here we are like 18 years later and uh, this event is probably one of the premier UFO sightings, not only because it was seen by masses of people, but there's no explanation. There's no explanation that the government couldn't cover this one if they wanted to. Uh, the mayor, the mayor gave confirmation after making a joke about it. So there's more information right there, and you know it's it's funny because th there have been sight more sightings of this thing uh, over the years. I think the most recent one was 2008, and you know what is I mean what is it? What could it be? I, I don't know. You know I can't look. I'm not going to sit here and start knocking the whole alien though. I really don't think. While I think aliens exist, I really do believe there's a chance that even if they have stopped by, why the fuck would they want to be here? We're so primitive compared to what an alien might be able. I mean, if there's if there's beings out there that are technologically advanced enough to make it here from their corner of the, of the universe, why would they want to chill here? Why would they have any interest in us when we're just primitive compared to that? I mean, we, we can barely make it to Mars. <laughs> 
which for them is like a hop, skip, and a jump. So, do so. I mean, and I'm not saying it's not aliens. Well, nobody knows. Nobody knows. That's the whole problem. No one knows. What I do think is that it it obviously proves that not all UFO sightings are a hoax or a joke. And it only takes one event like this to prove that there are, from time to time, things that occur in the sky that no one has the answer to, except maybe the government. Maybe they did have an air activity that day, and it just happened to be a new plane or a new weapon or something brand new that maybe they're still working on now. Who knows? But the Phoenix Light's definitely a very, very, um, very interesting story. And if you want to know more about it, guys, there's so much on it out there. Look it up on YouTube. You'll find slews and slews of videos. Like I said, the video, the DVD, Out of the Blue, very, very good UFO documentary uh, DVD. I, you could get it on Amazon for like four bucks. It's like so dirt cheap. Um, you could probably watch the whole thing on YouTube if you search hard enough. Just type in Out of the Blue. They probably have the whole thing on video on, the, on uh, YouTube. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, check it out. It's interesting stuff. That's pretty much the gist of it. So what do you think about the Phoenix Lights, especially if you happen to look it up after this video? Uh, I think it's definitely one of the most interesting UFO sightings in the history of mankind, considering that it involved so many people that there's no way you could deny it, uh, even if you wanted to. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy uh, finding out more about the Phoenix Lights. If you don't already know much about it, please comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the incident. And we'll have another conspiracy video for you here next Thursday on ETN. This is Rob signing off for ETN. <laughs> this is where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment and conspiracies. Laters. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Nation Facebook page.